Years after its debut, the hype around Stranger Things remains as strong as ever. With each new season, viewers keep finding this show more worthy of their attention and love. And this fourth season is one that fans have waited for for a long time. Amidst all the joy of its premiere, let's take a step back and see how the cast feels about the upcoming season. Here's what cast members of Stranger Things have to say about season four. Season four, like Harry Potter. When Stranger Things first premiered on Netflix way back in 2016, the show, by creators Matt and Ross Duffer, became an immediate hit. It introduced viewers to a ragtag group of adolescents, one with powerful telekinetic powers and mysterious background. The story follows Eleven and her group of friends through their dimension traveling adventures in Hawkins, Indiana. Finn Wolfhard, who plays protagonist Mike Wheeler on the show, went as far as comparing the show to the world famous series of Harry Potter. Though we know Stranger Things to possess an accumulation of strange and unexplained incidents, they can't be explicitly called magic, so naturally, the comparison was less about the genre of the two and more a commentary on the general tone of the series. According to Wolfhard, the show will, much like the widely beloved Harry Potter series, eventually explore darker storylines each season. He said that it would also gradually get more and more romantic, and even funnier to some extent. This is because as the cast grows up, the storylines and plot points they're a part of must also evolve with them. Can you imagine the gang at age 40 sporting matching mop top wigs and screaming about demogorgons? According to Wolfhard, this natural transition could be credited to the Duffers, as they start treating characters like the age the actors playing them are supposed to be. According to him, season four of Stranger Things is much like Harry Potter as it gradually increases the stakes and took a darker turn as the Golden Trio grew up alongside the audiences watching them. Noah Schnapps's revelation. Brace yourselves, because this is going to be a sad one. Schnapps plays Will Byers on Stranger Things. His character is pretty massive and incidentally enough, the catalyst for the entire show to even begin. It's Will Byers' disappearance that set the events of the series in motion in the first place. Suffice to say, the now 17-year-old actor is a pretty significant character in the show. So when he revealed that he'd not been told that the show would end five seasons in, it was a shock. Apparently, because of Schnapps' inability to keep secrets and his habitual spoiling habits, he found out about the show's end on social media. On The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, Schnapps revealed that he could recall the moment he found out about the fifth season of the show also being its last. It apparently brought him to tears. He then called up his co-stars and friends who all shared the same reaction. The show has gone on for four very popular seasons now, and as it heads towards its fifth season, fans have been made aware that it is also its final season, as in all the storylines are eventually coming to a close. Schnapps revealed on the show that the Duffer brothers don't really reveal all of the show's plans to them, especially to him, who has a habit of spoiling certain plots. Apparently, when he got the news, Noah Schnapps called his co-star and friend Millie Bobby Brown, who plays Eleven. She told him that she too felt very upset. Millie Bobby Brown claims that the filming was the most difficult yet. It's clear that Millie Bobby Brown has brought a very significant character to to life in the form of Eleven, the superpowered teenager whose backstory we may be divulging in this very season. Yes, according to all trailers and teasers, Eleven will be back at the facility where she had grown up. This will give us immensely valuable insight into her character. After seeing her evolution in the show, it would be an understatement to say that fans were shocked to see her at the facility once more. According to the actress herself, season four of Stranger Things will answer some pretty big questions that the fandom has harbored for years now. She admitted that this season was the most difficult one for her to film as of yet. This is because Eleven is apparently in her darkest state yet, and that's saying a lot, considering Eleven is generally a pretty angsty character. Eleven will see some of the spookiest things she's ever come across, and she's going to be taking fans on that journey as well, according to Brown, who will also touch on some experiences of filming on the set with elements that were genuinely terrifying. Joey Carey's comments about Steve's evolution. Season 3 was a journey of self-discovery and a search for a partner of sorts for Steve, something which Carey confirms will bleed into the fourth season. He also said that he thinks it's a general theme with a lot of people's personal stories, especially at the age Steve currently is. According to him, finding someone to share things with is a big component at Steve's age. He was fairly vague, as expected, but did say that a few advances were made in that general direction for his character. He mentioned that the relationship he shares with Robin is developed further in terms of commitment and unwavering loyalty to each other. They're apparently tighter than ever, which was super fun to portray for Kiri. Other related news. Mike and Eleven's relationship. Another thing this season is set to focus on is Mike and Eleven's developing and or deteriorating relationship. Finn Wolfhard, who, as we mentioned, plays Mike, has teased that this season in particular will make things difficult for Eleven and Mike's relationship. As we saw in season three, Eleven has moved away from Hawking's, but the two are trying to make long distance work. However, that's not the only bad thing looming above their relationship. The death of Eleven's adopted father, Hopper, is also something she is struggling with. According to Wolfhard, Mike and Eleven's relationship is special in the way that they are both always instinctively there for each other, like A 
air. They are both a part of each other's lives, and one can't pretend that they were never there. And the two, now teens, are trying their hardest to keep their relationship working, because of how much they love each other and how much they've been through together. Wolfhard also said that what makes their relationship beautiful is just how not normal it is. On the subject, he also talked about how he couldn't even imagine being in a long-term relationship in the 80s, which is reasonable. Who is Vecna? One of the big reveals from the trailer for Season 4 was the name and identity of the season's big antagonist being revealed. A character named Vecna, who looks viscerally terrifying and will be the big bad this season. Apparently, the terrifying creature is also known as the Whispered One of the Undying King and is a powerful lich, which is basically an undead wizard. Vecna's story will tie in with another character named Victor Creel. Victor was just a normal guy who moved to Hawkins with his typical suburban family of a wife and two kids. Eventually, the horrors in his house led him to mysteriously murder his wife and children, and he has been in psychiatric care ever since. According to Ross Duffer, what happened in Creel's house was also the key to understanding what has been happening in Hawkins all these years. Long season. Season 4 coming out this year has been a massive blessing for Stranger Things fans who have not stopped talking about how they're starving for new content for the past three years. They've waited three long years to find out what truly happened to Hopper, whether Eleven will ever get her powers back or if the gang will ever get back together, as they would be happy to remind you. One of the big reasons for this long delay was, of course, the global pandemic that stopped pretty much all human interaction that was not virtual. But another reason was that this new season will, for the most part, be really long. Supersized, if you will. It's long enough, in fact, that it is to be released in two parts for the very first time. Showrunner Ross Duffer talked about how happy the fans would be with what's to come, because the season, in his words, is very, very long. He claimed that that's part of the reason why it took the team so long to wrap it up. Apparently, the number of episodes will still be the same, but the runtime will be twice as long. To put that into context, an episode of Stranger Things already ran about one hour each, so with this new information, the runtime will exceed two hours per episode. A definitive treat for fans who will get to see a full movie-length episode each time. And that's it for this video. What do you think of the cast comments for the fourth season? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching the video, be sure to leave a like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications by pressing the bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video. And we'll see you next time.